A snare is a trap. Hunters use snares to catch their prey. They use all different kinds of snares. They use fish hooks. They use nets. They use those metal clamps. They use all kinds of snares. Or so does Satan. He uses all kinds of snares. One of his favorite snares is man. Satan loves to use a man and or a woman as a snare. Thus, that is why many of us are in here today because of a snare. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 27 says that the fear of God is the fountain of life, turning away the snares of death. Proverbs chapter 29 and 25 says that the fear of man brings a snare, but entrusting in God will exalt a man. Let me ask y'all a question. If this is true, why do men overwhelmingly choose the snares of death? Y'all quiet. I'm, I'm at, that's, I, this is a fairly simple question. What I'm about to say is an oxymoron and a little bit of a contradiction. But I do believe that there is a man that we should fear. And I'm not talking about fear in a worldly sense or in an ungodly sense, because we all know that the Bible tells us not to fear man. But I'm talking about in a reverential sense, the kind of fear that we have for an almighty God. Not quite that magnanimous, but you get what I'm saying. Fear a man that cannot be gotten by sex, by women. Fear a man that cannot be gotten by money. Fear a man who does not please man. These three things if you find them in any man, be careful of that man. Please, be careful of that man. Any man that cannot be gotten by money, by sex, by women, fear that man. That man is dangerous in the realms. That man is dangerous. That man is dangerous because you cannot use anything to control that man. Not money, not sex, not fame, not power. That man fears no man because there is nothing that you can use to get him. These, these, these are the most dangerous men on earth. They are sold out to integrity. They are sold out to the purposes of God. They are sold out to eternal values. The Almighty looks upon them. They are the eyeballs of God. Such men please Him. 
the wave that they carry is dangerous. And this is where God wants us to come to. Huh? Contrary to what y'all have been taught and what you believe to be true, we are not here for material pursuit. We are not here for sexual ecstasies. We are not here to impress or to please man. But we're here to drown. To drown in the oceans and the volumes of his will. Crush me, O oh God. Show me the ways of Zion. Teach me the mysteries of your spirit. Show me the visions and the language of the spirit. Open my ears, O oh God. Silence my natural hearing so that my spiritual hearing may hear precisely and accurately the preordained, the predestined, and the prepackaged words of an almighty God. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Reach on, brother. Woo! Somebody say amen to that. Everybody, huh? That's great. Listen, man, um, we've already lost two trials, and they just turned down my appeal for another one. We got to face it, baby. It's over. There is nothing to hang on to. Now, I don't want you to divorce me. It's over. Finished. They want me to die in this rotten, stinking place. Listen, babe. I can't continue to be a weight around your neck. You are no weight around. But then you're a weight around mine. I can't do all the years in here that I need to do knowing that they can take your beautiful face away from me at any time. This is Satan and Gangster Stalker we're talking about. Look it up. Babe, can't you see? This is dead, babe. Consider it dead. It's over.